Madam Deputy Speaker, International Men's Day has been an annual event since 2010. The UK has the most events of its kind anywhere in the world, and it's overseen by the Men and Boys Coalition. It's a registered charity of over 100 organisations, academics and professionals um, who believe in a society which values the well-being of men and boys. Some very positive themes. It makes a positive difference to well-being. It raises awareness and funds for charities supporting men and boys. And it promotes a positive conversation about men, manhood and masculinity, all of which is a very good thing. But there are some serious themes too. In 1998, my very closest friend um, sadly committed suicide. It was a devastating event for me and his family and all of his friends. Um, and I'm very well versed by the mess that's left behind. So we must end the stigma of men's mental health. And we need to commend the truth that it's okay not to feel okay. So please seek help is the simple answer. But it's also about the challenges faced by men and boys at all stages of education. It's about shorter life expectancy, it's about infertility, workplace death. It's about challenges faced by the most marginalised men in society, homeless, boys in care. It's about inner cities, black and white working class males, male victims of violence. It's about the challenges faced by men as parents and about survivors of sexual abuse, rape and domestic abuse. It's all relevant. And in this era of identity politics, it's becoming increasingly popular to ridicule men who display traits of traditional masculinity, of self-reliance, of personal responsibility, of discipline and of courage, even fatherhood. Well, guess what? I don't subscribe to that. Because all men matter. Indeed, the UK prides itself on being amongst the top meritocracies in the world. Equality of opportunity is something that we absolutely must strive for. So it's about black and white, gay and straight, male and female. Everyone has a role, and no one must feel ashamed of who they are. So this is not about men as a comparative species. It's simply about drawing attention to particular issues affecting men. Lastly, some quick stats, if I may. In 2018, almost 5,000 men took their own lives at a rate of 13 per day. That's a rate of 17.2 per 100,000. This is the highest rate since 2013, and men also make up 75% of suicides. Girls are now 14% more likely than boys to pass exams in English and maths. Boys have more than three times the number of permanent exclusions, with 6,000 permanent exclusions. Much of this is down, I think, to ADHD and ASD, a separate issue in itself, but one that we really need to look at very closely. And 96% of 79,000 people in prison are also male. So, we've got work to do. Thank you very much indeed.